Key West's election board, called the Canvassing Board, convened Friday morning to decide whether or not Mr. Robert Dean is a Key West resident with a right to vote in city elections. The stakes were extraordinarily high. For over 30 years, Mr. Dean has represented Key West on such boards as the Florida Keys Aqueduct Authority and the Key West Housing Authority, an adverse decision by the canvassing board could mark the end of an era no, in those fine. sometimes I'm controversial I'm organizations. Uh, Kara Higgins, I'm an attorney. Local attorney Kara Higgins spoke in support of state attorney Catherine Vogel's challenge to Mr. Dean's right to vote in Key West. But the law is extremely clear in that while it can be an intent, the intent must be factually supported. Um, but the facts show that in 1986, when Mr. Dean was first appointed to the Aqueduct Board, he served in the Key Haven seat. He did that until about 1993, when he switched to Key West, possibly to accommodate um, a former mayor that we had. Um, but with regard to Mr. Dean's residence, he's made statements to the attorney, uh, excuse me, to the state attorney's office, indicating that he's had the Key Haven property since the late 1970s. Uh, with his wife, he eats most of his meals in Key Haven, he gets his mail in Key Haven, he registers his vehicles in Key Haven. He's received a homestead exemption in the amount of $50,000 since 1982. I read the latest affidavit, um, and despite that statement under oath about attempting to change this homestead exemption, uh, we have conferred with the property appraiser's office, and it's simply not true. No documentation exists whatsoever to support that statement made by Mr. Dean under oath. The property on Bahama Street is owned by a trust, not by Mr. Dean, unlike the house in Key Haven, which is owned by Mr. Dean. Uh, Mr. Dean's driver's license, occupational license, residential telephone number, and U.S. mail are all listed at Key Haven. Driver's license up until he changed it a week uh, before the aqueduct meeting, after the state attorney <coughs> challenged his right to vote here in Key West. Um, when Mr. Dean has transferred property in the past via deed, he's done so several times. 14 West Cyprus is always listed as his address. He has listed Key Haven when filling out sworn financial statements in order to obtain loans and when purchasing vehicles. Um, he's only been registered to vote in Key West since 2004 after switching to become a Republican 37 days before he was appointed to the Aqueduct Board. Um, in, Mr. in 2009, Mr. Dean sought reappointment to the Aqueduct Board and sent then Governor Charlie Crist's appointment office appointments office, excuse me, an application listing Bahama Street as his address, which would have allowed him to keep that um, District 3 seat. With regard to water consumption in Key Haven, despite Mr. Dean's allegation that he spends overnights there and that he lives on the property, the aqueduct records show that between August 2008 and April 2010, a period of 20 months, only 100 gallons of water were measured at that address, um, and the average person uses more than 100 gallons in a single day. Um, clearly, um, it doesn't appear that anybody was spending any time at that address. Interestingly, Mr. Dean's attorney, the usually fiery Michael Halpern, did not feel the need to make a presentation. The board members appeared to be agonizing over the decision. I don't know, this is probably the most difficult decision that I've had to make in my uh, years on the on, on, on the commission, and it's it's heart wrenching uh, to me personally. First time having been involved in anything like this, I gotta ask. The main element in Mr. Dean's favor was a 2009 investigation conducted by State Attorney Investigator Chris Weber. Unlike his determination last month, Weber concluded in 2009 that Dean was a Key West resident. You know, what, what I'm really stuck with here is that uh, previous administrations had said that he was eligible, eligible to vote. And this was in the 2009 report that um, Dean was, was uh, it was not deemed in, to be in violation of residency requirement. Assistant State Attorney Mark Wilson and Chief Investigator Chris Weber were sitting in the first row. But no one on the board asked them why their 2015 investigation had led them to change their mind and conclude that Mr. Dean was not a Key West resident. 
I will move that we accept the uh, the ballot. The crowd was held in suspense until the last moment. I'll second. Everybody in favor? <coughs> Say aye. 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 Motion passes. So, did you have any comments? Oh no, you've already written it four times. So now you ask me. What do you think? You're a little late. Vindicated again and again and again. That's right. 